Hi, welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to pin your insects. This is after you've already collected your insects and you've put them in a vial of ethanol for at least 24 hours. Um, you may have also frozen them. It's very common to freeze butterflies specifically so you don't ruin their wings. If you have frozen your insects, then you must take them out of the freezer and wait for them to dethaw before you do the next steps. Let's begin. To start, what you'll need to do is you'll take your vial of insects and you're going to need to drain the ethanol um, and get your insects onto a paper towel to dry. So you just take the lid off and see your insects in the vial and you're going to dump out the ethanol. I like to use the edge of my Tupperware. And all you have left in your vial are your insects. And what you can do to get your insects out is you can just lightly tap your vial on the paper towel and the insects will come out onto your paper towel. Now that you have your insects on your paper towel, you're going to have to wait for them to dry before you pin them. The reason for this is to avoid molding. Um, this takes a couple of minutes, not too long, so you're just going to wait until they are no longer shiny and then you'll know that they are dry. It is important to know there is a standardized place to pin all insects. This image from Purdue University shows where the pin goes into most insects. Generally, all insects are pinned on the right side of their sclerite. There are exceptions such as butterflies and moths which are pinned in the middle of their bodies. The pin goes on the right side of the insect so the left side can be unmarked and used for identification. To help with your pinning, people use what is called a pinning board that looks like this. You can also use styrofoam which is the same thickness as your tear, which is what we'll be doing today. Now let's start pinning. Tweezers or forceps are very helpful. To start, choose which insect you want to pin first and you just lightly pick it up with your tweezers and put it on the styrofoam. You're gonna to wanna to flip it over and uh, so you can place your pin. Choose your pin wisely. There are thicker pins and there are thinner pins and it depends on the size of your insect. I'm gonna use a thicker pin for this one. So I'm going to hold the insect on its stomach like this while I pin it. Make sure it's on the right side. Oh, so chance. Right side at the right spot. And you're just gonna push it all the way through. Once you get it in, your insect, um, make sure that the insect is straight and flat before you push it, your pin all the way down until it reaches the table. Now that you have your insect pinned and it's flat and straight on the pin, you're going to want to move the legs of an insect. You're going to try and make your insect look symmetrical. So let's start with the antennae. We can just use our pin to sw slightly move the antenna over. You have to be really careful because it could break off and that happens and it's okay. Um, you try and make them look the same on both sides and it's not going to be perfect, especially because sometimes you they cramp up when they are in your ethanol. So something like that. Sometimes the antennae don't want to stay where you place them, so you could place a pin like this um, to keep them flat. Now we're going to do the legs. Let's start with this back leg. As you notice, I only have one of the back legs. And that's okay, as long as you have one of the um, each leg, um, they're accepted. So I'm just gonna push it up using the joints and then put the pin in like that so you can see how its leg is supposed to be bent. Then I'm gonna do these side legs. So I'm gonna just put them straight out and you can decide how you want it to look. You don't have to go straight out, maybe you like them bent better. I'm gonna go like this so you can see each leg. I like how that one is, so I'll leave it there. Now we're just gonna make the other side look the same. Oops. So pull this leg out. As you can see, I pull where the joint is at so I don't break the leg. That will stay like that. And let's get the other leg out. There we go. Now we'll just pin it down like this. Like that. As you could see, it was pretty easy for me to move the appendages. And that's because I just took it out of ethanol. If I wait too long, the body will get hard and you won't be able to move the appendages. Or, the, or pierce the insect with your pin. Um, and so what you need to do is wait now for 48 hours before you move the pins. And if you do this, then your insects will dry exactly how you have placed it and it will look like this forever. Now you are one step closer to having an insect collection like this of your own. 